What's up? I'm Mario and Kendrick, and we're here in Altadena, California, for the SoCal Black College Reunion. Today, we're about to celebrate our historically black colleges and universities. Let's go around and see what's going on. school did you go to? Angela McCray, Reverend Morgan State. I'm Risha Archibald and I went to Lincoln University in Missouri. My name is Walter Donald, but everybody knows me as Red, man. I'm representing Russ College, man, in Holly Springs, Mississippi, man. Angie, tell us a little bit about your black college experience. Man, my black college experience was amazing. I mean, you know, the yard, the Greek life, you know, just being around black people, being able to understand where we come from, our culture, Africa being a cradle of civilization. I never learned that in, you know, grade school or in high school. I learned that at a black college. I learned where my roots were from. I learned how we contributed to American history. I learned to have pride of self and how to, uh, you know, appreciate my black beauty. Tell us something interesting that you miss about your black college experience at Lincoln. Just really everybody being so close. Like, my school was a school rich of history, like all of our HBCUs. Um, and it was a really small school, so it was very family-knit. Um, not just for the students, but for the teachers as well, as well as the administration. So I just really miss like all of my friends who became my family and who I really grew up with as an adult being so close. What do you miss most about, you know, Russ College, man? What I really miss is the camaraderie, man. There was just something special about coming from a big city like Chicago, Illinois, south side all day, baby. Don't forget it. It's your boy, A Trey, Line City. It's going down. Just the camaraderie. Come on, man. Did you just name all your gang names? No, 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 no gang affiliation. <laughs> Avalon Park, baby, in Chicago, hey. between Cottage and Stony Island. Look it up. You may not have to. But what, back to your question, though. The comments and thoughts and the signs and, and nicknames. Oh, Territories oh, he me. threw out oh, has me. nothing to do oh, with me. It's not no, just right with you, man. no, it's all good though. But for real though, man, there's something special about attending an historically black college or university, man. Being from Chicago, man, coming to Holly Springs, they didn't have a McDonald's until 1994. It's not really a college town. So brothers like myself and other people that came from long ways to go to school, we had to do what we had to do to have fun. So you had to, so you was in a small secluded yes. area, rural area like me. Yes. So you did have to have sex in the car a couple of times, right? In the car, and, and I'm uh, this is totally off the record. I'm not saying that myself have performed such activities, but there has been times <laughs> where I've been made aware that sexual intercourse has occurred in the back seat of a vehicle, or maybe even the front seat. Uh, Morgan State is on the East Coast. I know you all had like bad weather days where it snowed. What did you used to do on those bad weather days? Did you get with a dude? You had a dude up in your room? What you used to do? Well, you know, it's funny you say that because I'm from Maryland. Okay. So, you know, Morgan State's in Baltimore. I'm from PG County, right outside of D.C. Go Ravens. <laughs> Go ahead. And the Redskins because I'm going to represent the home team. But, you know, I never lived on campus. I didn't have the traditional oh college experience. Oh, my God. So I was grown and sexy at, you know, 18. You know, I had a full-time job, I worked. So on them snow days, since I worked in television, their asses came and picked me up. You didn't have the experience of sneaking a boy in the dorm and almost never getting lived called. I've never had dorm life, no so, dorm life. But I have snuck in the boys' dorm. O'Connell, anybody, OC, anybody from Morgan State, y'all know about O'Connell <laughs> and OC. I, had, I did sneak in that dorm, but I never had the privilege of okay, having hello. dorm life experience. What was you doing in the dorm? What time of night was it? You didn't it sneak was, in during the, the day. Party. Okay, was you a little intoxicated? Of course. What was the first thing you did when you got your refund check? Did you go to the mall? <laughs> did you go to the liquor store? What was like, when, or did you go to the bookstore? You know what? I think I went to the bookstore and I probably, Oh my uh, God, another one I, of you. Yeah, and I definitely probably got some clothes. Like I had to like focus and make sure I had my books together because those were expensive. But then I had to make sure I got, you know, little clothes, little shoes, whatever. I'm waiting to hear somebody that had a drug habit or, or you had a gambling problem. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you might whip out you a little man for the weekend. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody
nobody give me all these good answers. I went to the bookstore. I paid my rent. Uh, I, one girl said she sent her mama a thousand dollars. Like, I blew my refund. Like, my mama ain't seen none of that. She ain't getting nothing. I went and got me some polos and some and some. I was drinking E and J back then. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. That put that put hair on your chest. Question. So, did you ever get a refund check? Oh yeah, that refund check paid for my uh, apartment. <laughs> so what did I you do? I live on Lock Raven. If you all y'all Morganites know about Lock Raven. Now, when you got your refund check, what was the one of the first things you do? Is you go to the mall, the liquor store, or I, to the bookstore? I went to Mon Diamond Mall in West Baltimore, and I had Versace jeans and Iceberg T-shirts. Versace? Hold yes. oh, on. You younger than me. You were wearing Versace and Jabot back in the day? I wasn't wearing Jabot, but I was definitely wearing Valentino's, Parasuco's, and Versace and Iceberg Hold and Dolce on. Gabbana. You said Versace. You know what I thought you said? I'm thinking about Z Cabo Richie. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what No, that I'm looking at old. When you got your refund check, what was one of the first things you did? Did you go to the liquor store, the mall, or the bookstore? Well, this is the thing. We went to the liquor store to cash Somebody such check. Being honest. Yes, and then we went to the mall. After we made a purchase, maybe a pint of Hennessy or something of the sort, but you had to go to the liquor store where we went to school to cash your refund check, and then it went down. Me oh, you, like, you had to cash your refund check at the liquor store? Yeah, that's where checks were cashed, baby. They offered various services. So, I yes. remember that, but I hadn't heard nobody cash a check at the liquor store is so damn long, dog. Shout out to Holly Springs, baby. <laughs> One stop, baby. I'm coming to see you for homecoming November 6th, baby. You know what it is. Baby. Okay, what? McNasty's, baby. Shout out to the Tater Babies. Shout out to the Chicken Strips. Shout out to the Chicken on a Stick. I'm going to tell you something, brother. Being from Chicago, I've never heard of a Chicken on a Stick until I went to Russ College, and it's the bomb. You better get you one. So did you party? Do you any partying while you were in school? Of course. Of course. I'm a Delta, too, so I mean, you know, we kick it. Oh. But again, you know, we had to, I had to keep a balance. You know what I'm saying? I had to be, be focused on why I was there. But it was always a party. You know, we always kick oh, it. Oh, man, they playing the butt. Can we do the butt right quick? You ain't doing it. <laughs> All right, we got it in. We got it in. We got it in. We got it in. <laughs> OK. Yeah, so. Black college experience, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about, you know, like what now, like we were hearing the, we hear the butt right now, like what hip hop artists like make you think and reminisce back to school? Oh man, like anything, uh, anything, uh, Lil John? Yeah, Lil John. All day. Okay. Uh, Mr. Cheeks? Okay. Uh, the light camera action joint? Like anytime. I'm okay. like, ah. Who was like the uh, hip hop artist that was hot when you was in school? When I was in school from 97 to 2003. Well, I, you know, I like Wu Tang. I like Mob Deep. I like, you know, Nas. But back then, Puffy was killing it. Jay Z was killing it. Nas was killing oh it. Oh my God! Lil Kim was you killing sound it. like somebody who lives you know on the I mean? East Coast. I ain't gonna lie though, but no, no was, limit. You ain't say nothing about no limit. No, I was, Cash I money. I do like no limit. Suave I like, house. I like those, but. Because I went to Morgan State, you didn't hear it as much. You only heard like maybe two songs per party per, from each. Oh, really? Did you ever get into go-go music? I know that's more of a D.C. thing, Ron but, you know. Joe, Ron Joe, Ron Joe, Ron Joe, <laughs> the policeman at your door. <laughs> what you like about the event? In the California area, uh, Los Angeles to be more specific, it's going down, man. There's nothing like seeing your people having a good time. Everybody out here kicking it, man. You got Alcorn State in the building. You got everybody in the building, man. Every historically black college and university that you could think of is out here. They represent. Much love to the Greeks. Shout out to Zeta Omicron, baby. The zombie chapter of Cap Alpha Side Fraternity Incorporated. Don't forget that. Trey Club all day, man. It's really been a blessing out here, man. Like, I mean, stuff like this is awesome because it's so many folks who went to HBCUs from around the country that come out here for whatever reason that we came out here. So it's awesome just to see that family knit um, atmosphere come all the way from all over the country to LA. It's something about HBCUs that I noticed um, that's different from everybody else, and that is the love. Like, just like I said, I see a, a sorority sister, a Delta. It's like off the chain love, like immediately, or any other black Greek for that matter. It's love off the top. It's the same way for HBCUs. Okay, so what sorority like ran the yard when you was in? Oh, the Delta certainly. Oh, of course you gonna say it. But we did though. No, like yeah, we ran uh, yeah, like the yeah. whole yard. Like, what, if the AK, our, our money was on point. But like, if, if the AK ran it, would you tell me? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>